Hi, in this video, we'll be talking about weight belts, types of weight belt, nylon weight belt, rubber weight belt, um, how much weights to use, and also distribution of your weights on your weight belt and on positioning on your body. Um, your first type of belt is your beginner weight belt. It's your nylon weight belt. It's a little cheaper than your rubber weight belt, but for beginners, if you don't want to spend too much money, you can use these types of weight belt and they work just as well. Um, one thing with these nylon weight belts, they are cheaper, but they last long, they're very durable. And the difference between this and the rubber weight belt, the rubber weight belt is stretchy and it sticks to your body on your wetsuit and it doesn't move around too much on your waist. So your rubber weight belt is, <clears throat> It's a lot thicker, it's durable also, it's an upgrade from your nylon weight belt and it also, as, as you're diving with a rubber weight belt, it tends to not move so much on your body like a nylon weight belt. Um, it kind of clings onto your wetsuit a little better. Um, as you go deeper, it doesn't move and get loose on your waist. Um, it constricts to your body. It helps um, while breathing up and free diving. It helps expand and contract on your, on your body. So your breathing gets, it, you get to breathe easier while you're using this weight belt. And you won't feel the tightness around your waist with this weight belt. And also with your rubber weight belt, um, you won't feel the slipping like a nylon weight belt. And um, sometimes when you do have a nylon weight belt and it moves around on you, um, you tend to hit the reef and it chases the fish away. So now I'm going to show you how you put weights on a weight belt. What you want to do is you want to make sure you take a weight and you look at it. So the curvature of this weight, there's a deeper indention. That's where you know that that's the outside of the weight. And also you have to know your displacement on your weight belt. You do want to have the, the weights distributed on your body and on your weight belt evenly. So you don't feel heavy too much on your left or too much on your right side of your body. So I'll just show you the proper way to distribute your weight evenly. You want to look at it like this and you want to get an equal and same amount of distance in between each weight. And it kind of looks like this. Depends on the thickness of your wetsuit. The thicker your wetsuit, you're obviously going to use a little more weight. Thinner your wetsuit, you're going to use less weight. But then again, it all depends on your body weight or your body structure. Now, you want to be neutral on the top for safety reasons. You don't want to be negative on your weight belt. In case of any shallow water blackout or anything, you don't want to sink. You want to be neutral at the top of the water. And if you do have too much weight on your weight belt, It'll be easier to dive down to the bottom, but you'll be using more energy kicking back up to the surface. And that's dangerous, and that's one of your major safety tips for weight belts and weights. Another safety, a good safety tip is knowing to put your, your weight belt and the buckle knowing that it's always on the same side that you know you're going to use your hand on to release your buckle. You want to be consistent with that and you want it to come automatic where you know in case of any trouble and you feel like you're going to black out, you know that you know where to release and what hand to use to release your, weight, your buckle. So on the release of this type of weight, weight belt, this would be with my right hand and I would release it on the right side. If you're using the weight belt on your left side, you would release your weight belt on 
with your left hand. So this is, this is all for this video. Just dive safe and have a good time. Thank you.